Olive one. Very simple, very effective fly, especially when the adults are around or even when the, the, the fly is coming off. Hook I'm using is a medium wire hook, it's a B170 size 12. Thread, the uni, AO and olive. Now you can tie this in whatever colour you like. Olive is a great colour to have, especially in the summer months. Now I'm taking thread down about, I would say, a th one third the length of the the fly, because I'm going to slightly come round the bend, if you imagine that, breaking that up that's about a third. For the rib I'm going to be using this Uni Pearl or Myla, number 14 which is a medium thickness just going to a very small length off I'm going to catch it on and tie it in the way down. This is just to help to keep the fly a wee bit Keep it thin, and that's exactly what you're looking for, because the midge are very thin. Now, this fly could be tied in size 10, size even size 8s, but size 10s down, and it'll still work for you. For the body, I'm just going to use some light, light olive seals for. You don't need a lot. Basically, when you bring your rib up through, you won't be able to the rib to touch the the hook. You don't want any spaces between the dubbing and the and the rib. Just wind it up nice and light. As you can see there's not a lot there. And then bring your rib up through. It's fine. Cross your thread. Now, basically what I do at this point is you can tidy up the rib first and then bring the thread back down. I'm going to try and bring out some of the seals fur in between the pearl rib, just with the velcro. And then with your finger and thumb roll back these fibres, roll them and draw them back, which helps protect the rib as well. Then you can either put on legs or wing first, it's up to yourself, it doesn't matter. I'm going to put the legs on first. In this case it's pre-knotted legs and these are natural pheasant tail. Just bring it 90 degrees from the stem and you'll see the tips lining up. Turn them off. And put two either side. Just look at the length you would like. And then come round with a couple of loose turns or so. Just look at to see where they're sitting. When you're happy, come in with another two or three turns. If you feel one of the legs is away, then just it's a matter of just folding it. And all I do is rub it with my finger, take it towards the eye, and then draw it back. And what that does, it creases the fibre at the area where you've tied it in. Then remove the excess. Tidy up. Take it back down. Now I'm gonna. You don't. Need, you need. This is. These are. This is added extra. But I think it works extremely well, especially in the olive. This is a, a hen neck, and it's a natural done. This one's from Whiten. Now the hen hackles are very dense, and basically, if you look at them, they're perfect for to give an impression of a wing. I'm gonna put two on. I want the wing just to come to the back of the the hook, I'll just let the buy it. Come in, hold them. Two or three loose turns, just to see how they're gonna sit. You want them reasonably flat, and that looks okay. And then you tighten up and remove the excess. Again, carry on down and come back up. We look to see how things are sitting. There you go, see how the wings are sitting flat, very midge-like, and that's what you're looking for. And I'm going to put some more seals fur on. Now lightly dub it onto the, the thread. Don't want to be too tight with it. 
and just form like a ball. And what I do is just go up and down a couple of times, just winding the thread through, which is catching in and holding these fibres, even if you run it through with nothing on it at all. As long as it's loose enough, it will disappear into the turn, into the seals fur. And then draw anything going forward with the die, draw it back with the thread and lock it back. See how it's looking? That's fine. Now I'm going to add a hackle on this. This is a an ending cock neck. It's just white when dyed a very pale olive. Take one of the feathers out. Just don't be shy with the length of the fibre. I like them quite long, so and I'm going to tie it in by the tip. So I'm going to stroke back the fibres to be re to reveal the tip of the hackle. Two or three turns, fold it back, the thread down, keeping the thread tight, break that off. And then just lift the fibres up. You can do a single turn, it's up to yourself, it depends on how sparse you want it. In this case I'm putting on let's just see how it looks. Let's do two and about two and a half is fine. Come in, catch the hackle with two or three turns, again I'll draw it back and any fibre going forward with the eye, draw it back keeping the thread nice and tight, break that off and then work finish there we go, and then take away your thread now what I like to do at this point is bring the hackle up, the fibres up and what I'm going to do is bring out some of the seals for just be careful with your wing and your legs because the velcro will destroy them if it gets a hold of them it's just about a bit of depth or a bit basically what happens is if you bring some of the seals for out and into these hackle fibres you can actually then add some muslin and get the fly to sit a wee bit closer to the surface there you go That's it. And then all you have to do is some varnish onto the head. One coat's plenty. All the way around. And that there's your olive sparse midge. As you can see the, the wings look certainly look the part. And they do show up in the water. You'll see them. And it's very midge like. And certainly, this style of fly, in whatever colour you're tying, uh, should be in your box, especially if you're on the lakes and the lochs. There's plenty of midge coming off. Hope you enjoyed that, and that's your olive sparse midge.